the schools to do sort of a survey of all the schools. So we went to these elementary schools in Uganda, and what I saw there was that there were these children playing outside, using the bathroom, uh, eating. But the thing that was shocking was that none of these places, these bacterial prone places, had a hand washing station for the children to go there and wash their hands, you know, after doing these things. So that really sort of motivated me to, you know, go back to Penn State and start sort of a hand washing campaign involving these low cost devices called Tibby Tabs in order to increase access to hand washing so that these kids, you know, will be able to hand wash and prevent the spread of bacterial diseases which are the, like, which is a leading cause of child mortality in the world. Um, I'm hoping to show that through my research that you know these TB taps uh, can provide a change if implemented correctly, especially in the school setting because there's so much children in there, and because children are sort of the the future. So mm -hmm. we're we're trying to instill these hand washing habits in kids and trying to have more ways for them to hand wash so that, you know, you know, there's less mortality at that point. So in terms of the future of the TV tab, I definitely see the TV tab being part of a long-term, uh, low-cost strategy that can be used to increase hand washing and stop disease. And the best part of the TV tab is that you don't need for an intervention mm -hmm. in order to build it. It's such a simple device that people can construct it based on simple materials present in their communities. So you don't need someone to go in there, for example, and build like a rainwater harvesting tank or like solar panels, which cost a lot of money and a lot of villages can't afford. So we just need to get the idea of the TV tap sort of spread, you know, throughout generations so that it sort of starts in one community and spreads to another community, to another community, and then eventually spreads throughout Uganda and hopefully, you know, sort of throughout Africa. So that's sort of what I'm envisioning in the future.